This is gonna be a little different. Make sure I gotta make sure to put myself in this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Let's Talk Chinese podcast, the best podcast in my mind. Good, everything's working. Oh, perfect, perfect. Welcome back to the best podcast in my mind today, my friends. If you have read the intro, if you have read the pod, the thing, and looked at the thing, you would know that we are doing. A fast food tier list, baby. We're doing a fast food tier list now. Before we get into this, I have to ask you. Let's talk Chinese podcast. I'm kind of pushing it back every week. So, for those who haven't known, I'm going to upload this every other week on my main channel, Chicken Penny Gaming. Uh, if you are watching this on or listening to this on anything else, uh, that iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Spotify, check it out. Give it a sub. Why not? Um, I am doing this thing we are going to be talking fast food in this episode we're going to be doing a fast food tier list what will that consist of canadian fast food joints now a lot of you might be from america uh and there's a lot of american fast food joints that i've never had and i went on tier list tier maker whatever it's called and I said, I'm going to look for fast food. I'm a big guy. I like fast food. I'll admit it. Mighty delicious. I thought that this might just be the best thing that we can do. So if uh, it cut. Uh, there. So when I see it in post, uh, I can cut to actually what we're doing. So we, I'm going to change one real quick, actually. No, I'm not. I'm not going to change it. It's going to put the best, but I cannot put the best. So we have our our ranks here. S, A, B, C, D, E, F, and never had. A lot of you might be wondering, well, it's here in Canada. You've probably obviously had all of these. Some of them I haven't had just because they don't interest me or I just don't have. I, they're not where I'm from in Canada, which is also another valid reason. So we're going to start out with Arby's. From what I've learned, it is a cold cut place, kind of a meat. For I've never had it. I'm going to start out with that. I've never had Arby's. There is one relatively close to me, and we never go there. I'm going to start with that. Anyone who's an Arby's fan, I'm sorry. But I the one closest to me is like three towns, three cities over. Never had it. Harvey's. Different from Arby's, Harvey's is a burger place, usually in conjunction conjunction, conjunction with Swiss Chalet. Uh, I'm going to say this now. If you've never had, if you've been to Canada or if you're Canadian and never had Harvey's, cop it. Easy S tier. You might be wondering what makes it so good. I don't know. But Harvey's makes your food, your burger, a beautiful thing. You can do endless toppings on it. You can make it however you want. If you want ranch dressing with lettuce two different types of lettuce they'll probably do it like harvey's is go this hat is not that comfortable i forgot <sighs> but harvey's is an easy easy s tier mr sub never had it i want to though i'm going to come back in a couple weeks and go back and say that i've uh yeah, I've never had it. It's like a Subway, basically. More Canadian. But it, it's it's all right, I think. I've never had it. Same with Five Guys. There's maybe 10 Five Guys locations in Canada, all in Toronto, and I'm not from Toronto. Never had it now. So I think the last, there's two more, Pita Pit and Mucho Burrito. I've never had. Pita Pit, you just get pitas. Uh, basically kind of little sandwich fold over things. Uh, Mucho Burrito is a, just a burrito place. They're all over everywhere. I just, not my cup of tea. All right. Rest of these, I think I've all had. So we'll start with Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen can be very hit or miss depending on where you go. Depending on how you get it. If you order it fresh, it is goaded. If you order through Uber Eats, it's meh. The blizzards are amazing. I think everyone can agree blizzards are amazing. 
a lot of people don't credit Dairy Queen for their food. They have their stack burgers or whatever, and there's a ranch house something or other, bacon, whatever. That is an A tier category. I would put it S. However, for being kind of an ice cream place, their milkshakes are not good. So, yeah. Um, but other than that, underrated onion rings, underrated pretzels. Get the pretzels. They're goaded. The cheese is so good. Little Caesars. Hmm. I'm also going to put A. I think I'm going to keep it at A. Go there, hot and ready. Really easy to get. It's really easy, really delicious is what I find. So my girlfriend and I get the stuffed crust stuff. There's a combo, stuffed crust stuff, whatever. Really great pizza. Um, People discredit it because it's kind of on the cheaper end. I like it. I like the cheaper end stuff. So we're going to move on to Wendy's. <sighs> See, Wendy's is a tough choice for me. I love their burgers. Their burgers, I don't think I've ever gotten wrong. Their Frosties are so good. Their fries are very hit or miss. Their nuggets are very hit or miss. However, every time I go to Hard or Wendy's, I cannot complain. I'm going to put it in A. I'm going to put it in S, and I'll come back to it at the end. And I will stand by that. Taco Bell, B. Only because it's okay. Fight me. It is great cheap food. But if you're putting it up against other places, it is not that good. Some of their stuff is really good. Their Locos Doritos Tacos are amazing. Their Fries Supreme or whatever it is are amazing. Then you get some of their burritos, and you're like, oh, okay, kind of a stretch. And a lot of it all tastes the same, which is fair. A&W. Now, every place in here, Arby's, Wendy's, Dairy Queen, Little Caesars, Five Guys, every place that can be an American place, Taco Bell, basically has all the same stuff as the American version. Uh, A&W is different. So if you don't know, A&W in the States and Canada is owned by two completely different companies. Better yet, the A&W drink and restaurant in the States and the drink and restaurant are owned by four separate companies for each. If you didn't know that, that is true. American, the American pop, soda, root beer, cream soda, whatever, one company. The American restaurant, one company. The American, or the Canadian restaurant is another company. And the American or the Canadian root beer is a completely different company. That's not sold in the restaurant. The can, the bottle stuff. <sighs> Their burgers. I'm going strictly off the restaurant, the Canadian restaurant. The and the the root beer that I get usually does not taste. It tastes watered down almost. I don't know if anyone else has had that problem where it tastes watered down, but it tastes watered down. The burgers are usually good. However, the fries. The sweet potato fries are alright. They're kind of hit or miss too. What make it for make it and break it for me are onion rings. Their onion rings are not that good. They're not good at all. I there's not enough onion, I guess you would say. There's I don't like the batter on it, like the, the, the little crumb things on it. And I, true story, it was on Valentine's Day, so I'll give it that little break. I was with my girlfriend, and we went to an A&W, and we were the only two in the restaurant. And there was nobody in the drive-in. For them to make our two burgers, or our burgers, our fries and onion rings, our strip, or my girlfriend's chicken strips and the drink. So we had, it was that back when the, the frozen like root beers, the, the brew bar or whatever they call it came out. It took over half an hour and it was sitting there for 20 minutes. 
I specifically remember seeing my root beer, frozen root beer, sitting in the machine for, like, I got it and it was half melted. I was actually severely, I was upset. I've had more bad experiences than good. They usually seem to always forget something or mess something up. Their burgers, I don't think, can redeem them. So I'm going, actually, I'm going to get rid of E. I'm putting it in D. The only reason it's not an F is because I like their burgers. That is it. But the fact that you charge extra on top, an extra like $2 for cheese is wild. Burger King. It's all right. The burgers are okay. Their mozzarella sticks, I can buy frozen at the like Walmart beside my Burger King, and it's the same thing. First time I had it in a while, they had their it was a patty melt. I totally should add some more. Anyways, oh, I should have went through and added some more. No, we'll do it. We'll do it as is, and we'll do another one after this. Um, so their patty melt when they had it, I don't even know what it was. It was like a burger. It, patty melt is basically grilled cheese with a burger in the middle. Delicious, but it had like this sauce in it, and I didn't. Add, I said no to the sauce originally, but they didn't listen, so they put it in there anyways. It had caramelized onion. It was really good. Their onion rings are horrible. Their normal burgers are okay they're not the best um their chicken looks okay I, it's their ice cream looks pretty good though i'm gonna put it at a c the fries are okay eh. put it as a d the only thing i really like from burger king is their that melt thing that stuck around for three months and it disappeared uh domino's Ooh. I'm only going to put one burger place and one pizza place at the top. Domino's is easy A. However, <laughs> there has been times where, usually from the same place, so I can't fault every Domino's, where I eat my pizza, I wake up the next day and have to ex sprint to the bathroom. To be fair, I do eat an entire medium pan pizza, usually because I've eaten nothing all day, and it is delicious. Um, their stuffed, new stuffed bread, really good. Their brownie, like their desserts, really good. Their pizza sometimes can be hit or miss. It depends on where you get it from and what it is. I also had an experience where I worked... A 12 hour day between split up between two shifts and an hour at home. Uh, I'm getting so many messages. I'm muting my phone. Um, or, yeah, it's about a 12, it would have been a, the equivalent to a 12 hour day with maybe an hour break at home. And my mom, beside my work, there's a Domino's. So I was like, okay, my mom's like, get pizza, we'll order it from Domino's. Go in, I get the pizza. I don't even get the pizza. I go in, I say, I'm here to pick up for carter whatever it is uh, it might have been my parents name i don't remember and he goes the guy on the counter goes okay let, let me look goes looks yeah um it'll only be a couple more minutes sweet sitting there starts getting a little busy lineup starts forming sitting there i see our i see the pizza because i know it's like four medium pizzas one for each of my family members they put it on that shelf the heating shelf and i'm sitting there i'm sitting there i'm sitting there i'm sitting there keep in mind i'm starting to get frustrated because i just want to go home i'm tired I'm tired and hungry. I mean, I'm tired in a pizza place and I've eaten nothing all day. I'm starving. Sitting there, sitting there, sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. I go up to the counter. Maybe 10 people have gone through, gotten their pizzas. I go, or a guy looks at me. I don't even go up to the counter. A guy looks at me and goes, did you order? I go, yeah, I've been waiting here for 10 minutes. And I think that's my pizza back there. And he goes, okay, let me check. He goes, what's your name? I go, Carter. He goes, it's like, so sorry about that. It, completely different guy. The guy who originally took my order went in the back. Disappeared. Um, 
but it was delicious. So I'll keep it at A for now. <sighs> I don't know if that'll stay. I might stay. We'll see. Moving to Subway. Subway's really good. How they're pricing though. Pricing, I think in general, has been jacked up. I'm going to put it as B because it is stupid expensive. I get a, there's a crispy chicken, so it's like a, I almost make like a chicken parm sandwich. And it comes out to usually be 14 bucks plus a combo because a drink and cookies, you can't oh, take that away. So sometimes it gets pretty pricey for just a sandwich, for a sub sandwich. I'm going to keep it B because it's okay. I might drop though, just because I have, usually I don't have any problems with the workers, which is great. Um, but it's just a little too expensive. KFC. I don't have it enough actually. Sometimes I have had it, have had it. It's good. It is definitely not my favorite chicken place in Canada. But it's not bad. I'll give it C. If it's there, it's there. It's not bad. McDonald's. Some of you might be putting it at the best. Golden Arches. Everyone knows it. Never had. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to put it. Definitely not S. I think in comparison to Wendy's and McDonald's or Wendy's and Harvey's, not S, but I will put it A. It's not S because I go there and not all the time I get the best quality food. When I go to Wendy's, I know I'm getting a box. Like when I get fries, I'm getting it full. I go to Harvey's, I know I'm getting a juicy burger. I go to McDonald's, if I don't get a fresh patty, Come on, it's also not cooked fresh. They're kind of pre-cooked, but not really. They're they're sitting there for maybe 30 minutes at most. You might get that last burger on the 30 minutes. Um, and you're getting that box of half or you're getting a half full box of fries. The quality has dropped on it, the prices have raised. Their new remix menu looks kind of good though. That looks mighty delicious. I'm I'm getting hungry. I'm getting really hungry. Um, so I'm going to keep it at A. Fight me on that. Iconic S, easy. Most iconic food brand of all time. Quality A. I do like their iced coffees, though, in the morning. New York fries. C. For those who don't know, I don't know if you have it in America, New York fries is basically a fry and hot dog place. I kind of, I think it's supposed to mimic... Like street food. Um, they're all right. You kind of you get there because you want something different. The fries are okay. Um, I don't really have the hot dogs there. They're, I think they're decent. The hot dog can only get so good, to be fair. But um, it's all right. I will say I don't think I have any F's out of the last three. So the next one's Pizza Hut. If you ask me, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it back down here for a second. If you asked me when I was like 12, where it's placing, it is an easy, the best. You used to love Pizza Hut. Now though, the flavor is great, but it's too greasy sometimes. Some, a lot of times they'll mess it up and I look, it's, it's, the flavor sometimes can be great the rest of the time. So I'm going to put it as at at C. Again, kind of a cop out there. It definitely is not con in contention for S. May At most, if I get a good pizza, it's a B. I'll put it to Morton's at D. Oh, I should have saved it for last. I'm also going to put toppers at D. So... That's it. But I'm going to go back to Tim Hortons real quick. So Topper's Pizza 
It's all right. Kind of middle of the line. Actually, I'll put it with C. Middle of the line pizza. It's not the worst. It's not the best. It's pretty good. I don't mind it, actually. I'll eat it. I like their crust sometimes. Tim Hortons. Their food is bad. Bad. Their food. They went from, it used to be, it would be an easy S tier category. Ten years ago. Five years ago. Back when they made everything fresh in-house. Everything now is shipped in. Frozen. They thaw it. They give it out. Their coffee. Not my choice if I had to. The only thing I like from there that I'll consistently have is an ice cap. I, Their food. I also do like their paninis. Their paninis are great. I'm going to sit up. Their paninis that they have are great. Except they're getting smaller and they're raising the prices. Which sounds like everything in the world. Tim Hortons. One, yes. I'm recording. No. Um, Tim Hortons food quality. It's not there. It used to be so good. Um, everything kind of just tastes stale. Uh, sometimes you get the the good one like right off. Like their sausages are like their sausage patties are delicious. But their donuts don't taste good. Their Timbits are meh. It's just not what it was. And I think a lot of people are now starting to realize that. And that's where they're going to other places. Um, And it, it's... it's You go there and you might get something. And it looks good. But then you taste it and it's like... Eh, it's alright. Um, that's I think that's just what it is the most. It's alright. I don't think it's better than anything else. I I think it's just all right. Anyways, so this is the Canadian tier list. Um, now we're gonna shuffle it back out again. So between Harvey's and Wendy's, I think Harvey's takes it. I want to put a pizza place up here. Domino's is great. But Little Caesars taking it. And here's why. Little Caesars is always there for you. Domino's sometimes isn't. Sometimes I have more problems at Domino's, food-wise, whatever. Little Caesars, you go in, you get a $7 hot and ready. Maybe they're four ninety nine Crazy Puffs, which are delicious, by the way. You don't, I, I don't think I've ever had a problem with Little Caesars. They're great. But this is the list. Let me know what you think. We're actually going to go back. And we're going to look for a new one. I think we'll do. Ooh. I'm trying to see how many of these I've had. I'm trying to see how many of these I have. Not many. If I go through, never had, never had, never had, never had, never had. Never had, never had, never had, never had, never had, nope, nope. Uh, nope, 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 uh, nope, 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 nope. 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 I did have a lot. Waffle House. Nope. Uh, nope. 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 I was going to do an American one, and then I realized I've never had any of these. And all of these I've already ranked, except for KFC and Chick-fil-A and Waffle House and Panera. KFC, Chick-fil-A, Waffle House, and Panera. Hmm... <sighs> Curious. I just want to see what else. If I can't find anything else, okay. Yeah, we're not uh fast food cheeseburger. Oh, now we're talking. 
Now we're not talking. I've never had most of these. I don't know. Ooh. We'll do another tier list. Do another tier list. Uh, I know I did food. Let's do drink. Is there a drink tier list? Is there a drink tier list? Drink, drink, drink. Actually, best soft drink. Let's do best soft drink. Yeah. Okay, we'll do bet. Oh, actually, how many of these have I had? Let's add a. Let's add a. I'm not editing this part. I'm not. Ed oh, no. I'm not editing this part. How do I make this never had? Uh, nope. Nope. Is that? That's not Dr. Pepper. Nope. 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 What is that? Nope. 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 Uh, nope. Nope. No. This one I can do, I think. I'll put the ones that I haven't had, and you can fight me uh, in the comments. Pib, I can try. I have, I have had that. Have not had mellow yellow. I can try it at like anywhere else. Actually, I think I have tried it. No, 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 no. Oh, is there a difference mellow yellow between these two? I don't know, I'll rank them the same. Yeah, 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 yep. Yeah, nope. Nope. No. Nope. 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 And nope. Oh, and nope. Okay. Pepsi Zero. I'm guessing this is. Oh, no. Okay. Pepsi Zero. Drink tier list. Let's go. Pepsi Zero. B. Actually, C. I don't really like zeros, as I have a can of zero sugar cherry Pepsi. Um, they're all right. They're not the best. Uh, same with diet. Actually, I don't like diet. I would rather drink a zero than uh, than diet. I just don't like the uh, the taste after Dr Pepper. I'm fight me in this S tier, best drink of all time. Uh, a and W root beer. I'm talking Canadian here. It's a B. Actually, it's an A. No, it's a B. The only reason is there's a lot of vanilla in it, and I like vanilla. And Bark's Root Beer is the A. Just because that bite you drink when a bark, like Bark's Root Beer is Bark's Root Beer. I've never had A&W Cream Soda. Actually, I'll put I'll do A&W Cream Soda as every cream soda. So I like cream soda. Um, is that peach? That sounds delicious. Crush peach sounds delicious. Bark's root beer, everyone knows Bark's root beer. It's great. Cream soda, we'll put a B. Pink or white cream soda, I'll drink. Sometimes it's not my go-to. Sometimes like the pink's too sweet and the, the white's a little too bitter or not sweet enough. Coke, S, Sprite. I'm not a huge Sprite guy. I'm putting it B. Coke, actually, no. Coke A, Coke Cherry A, Coke Vanilla S. Coke Vanilla Coke is goaded. And these two can go down here. And this can go down here too. Oh, Squirt never had Squirt. Uh, it, I fought it all the time. Coke Vanilla is so good. If you've never had it, I want you to run out and buy it. It is so good. Right now. Sprint out and buy it right now. It is so freaking good. Why is Coke Cherry on here twice? I did not do not pay attention. Uh, it's it's really good. I don't know why. I don't know what they put in it. What vanilla is in it? It is just oh my god! I want one right now. Jaros. A. I'm talking all flavors here. Always really good. 
Uh, Mellow Yellow, never, I never really had. We'll put it in D, both of them. I don't know if there's any difference. If you're American, tell me if there's a difference. Uh, they're all right. It's kind of like another kind of like Mountain Dew-esque thing. Fanta. Is that orange? Oh, that's mango. I never had mango. Fanta Orange. Orange. Oh, ooh. okay. Hold on. Fanta Orange is a C. Orange Crush is a C. I will fight over them later. They're both really good. Mug Root Beer. God, dude, it's a C. Mug Root Beer is kind of the, the last group of them. Mountain Dew is an A. Mountain Dew Code Red is a S. Mug Root Beer is also on here twice. I don't know why. Pepsi. I said it. I don't care. I like both. I like both. Actually, 7-Up. I'm going to put with Sprite. Same idea. Ginger Ale is an automatic A. Uh, S. Ginger Ale is an S. Fight me on that. I put Coke over Pe or I put Pepsi over Coke, and here's why. More places have Pepsi than they have Coke. My, I, I don't like, I don't mind either. I like both. Sometimes I get bored of Coke. And I usually always have Coke. When I get a Pepsi, it's kind of like a change in taste. Pepsi is also a little bit sweeter. I like sweet. But... It does not beat, I don't know why I have it here, it does not beat Coke Vanilla. Coke by itself, Pepsi by itself is great. Coke by itself is great. Cherry Coke is great. Cherry Vanilla, or Cherry uh, Pepsi is great. But Vanilla Coke, and I'll stand by this, is my best of all time is Dr. Pepper. I'll chug endless Dr. Pepper. I live and die by Dr. Pepper. Coke Vanilla is a close second. And I will stand by that. So I guess all reality, Coke does beat Pepsi. But if you're comparing the two drinks, I think Pepsi is a little bit better. You can have it. It's a little bit nicer when it's cold. But true story, Pepsi is meant to be drank cold. Coke is meant to be drank warm. Because when Coke came out, they didn't have fridge. They didn't have fridges. So... Coke, but people would drink it warm. And it was meant to be drunk, drank, drunk, drank, drank, and inhaled, ingested warm. Pepsi, when it came out, was with fridges and they made, you know, drank it, put it in the fridge and let it cool off and whatever. It was meant to be with the fridge. But fight me in the comments in that. I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching subscribe i'm only going to edit out one little bit and that's just my mom had a question anyways thank you guys so much for watching follow subscribe let me know what tier list you guys want me to do um this i thought the food one would take longer to be fair i wasn't expecting to do two um but let me know if you guys want to see maybe movie or game franchises we, we can figure it out from there but thank you guys so much for watching Subscribe, follow, like the video, and uh, yeah, fight me on my tier list rankings. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Um, thank you. Anyways, bye.